Welcome to Restorative Yoga. Let's get started. Let's get our things ready. We'll get our mat out, get our blankets. I have two blankets. And I have two bedroom pillows and one big pillow. So remember that you can get whatever you want. If you want to get pillows from your couch or um, decorative pillows, or if you have bolsters, whatever, but there's no rules. Just get something that you can prop your feet on and be comfortable with. Um, you can also just get a bunch of blankets. You don't have to get pillows, but we'll get started with our breath work. I'm going to get us some music going. Oh my goodness. And this dog. <laughs> you know what? Let's get us some music going. We'll get this dog out of here. <laughs> there we go. Um, you may leave. Thank you. Go. 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 Thank you. Mm -mm. All right. And when you're ready, we're just going to start our breath work. And remember our breath work is however you want it to be, right? So you can lie down on your mat and relax. You can sit like me. Um, if it hurts your back to sit like this, try to sit on some pillows. You can stack two blankets up. But the higher, the better. So you get your knees under your hips. And that feels really good. So let's just find some breath work here. Let's close our eyes. And take a big inhale. And then exhale it out through your nose and your mouth. Just keep going. So when we breathe out, our belly goes out. So big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna start to contract those abs. Upper, middle, lower, when we push that breath down. Even if you're sit lying down. Try that. All right, let's do one more breath. All right, let's let that go. So I'm gonna move these out of the way so you can see my mat. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this blanket for my head and neck. And if it hurts you to uh, be on the floor, you can just put your mat here, I mean, not your mat, your blanket, and you can have a softer cushion there. All right, so our first pose we're going to do is we're just going to lie down on the mat, going down. And see, what I like to do here is just roll this blanket under to protect my neck. And then what I want you to do is bend your knees and get your feet a little wider. And we're going to do what we call windshield wipers here. We're just going to drop our knees to the right, drop our knees to the left. Whatever feels good for you. So just breathe here and find some movement that works for you. For your arms, you can have them here on your belly. <clears throat> if you're sore here, this is a good spot for you. But if you're not sore and you want to open your chest up a little more, you can take them out wide like a T with the palms up. Just get some movement there in their hips. 
breathe. All right, let's come back to center. Let's hug our knees in and gently rock side to side. All right, now from here, what I want you to do is just roll over to the right and push yourself up. And now the first pose we're gonna do for restorative is a child's pose. So if you're new to yoga, I'll show you what that looks like. But if you aren't new, you can go ahead and set up. For me, I like to do wide-legged child's pose, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's just where you get your knees as wide as you can or wide as your mat or your blanket, and then your feet come together, and then you go down. So for me, I am going to get my two bedroom pillows, put them here, and bring them in as close as I can. And then I might get this one. And then I'm going to put my blanket there. And then I'm going to lengthen through my skull. Put my hands here. Inhale. And then we're going to go down. So we're going to think about that belly going down first. Okay, belly, belly, belly. Then chest, then head and neck. Yeah. And you're just going to turn your head to one side here. You can put your, your arms like this and rest. And we're going to breathe here. We're going to stay here for about one minute. So breathe. And then we're going to switch over and we're going to, and then on the 30 second mark, we're going to switch our neck over. Okay. We're going to look on the other side. So you should feel comfortable in this position. If you don't, you can put another blanket under your bottom here and I'll show you what that looks like. So again, anytime you come back to watch these videos and do these, bring all the props, bring more that you need. So you can see that takes a little pressure off and you can, yeah, that feels good too. So you're just gonna have to play around with it and see what feels good to you. Uh, just breathe here. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Try to relax your face. You can do a gentle sway with your hips side to side. Try to separate your teeth. And just relax. And breathe. All right, now we're going to switch our gaze <laughs> or gaze the other way so we're gonna go this way and then we'll be here for 30 seconds All right, we're done with that pose. And now we're going to take our hands and push up. Good job. All right, so for our next pose, we're going to lie down on the mat. We're just going to move our things and transfer to the mat. We're gonna just going to go this way. Get your pillow for your neck. There we go. All right. So for our next pose, we are going to do a little spinal twist. So you can watch me do it first. We're going to lie down here. And 
So we have our body long, long, long. If you want to stretch your arms overhead, if they're not sore, you can do that. Point your toes and tense everything up for one breath. And then on the exhale, let it go. And we're gonna take that left leg. We're gonna bring it up, hug it in. Breathe, rock it side to side if you want. Then we're gonna push it out to 90 degree here. So this is important. I want you to fill your hips. And if your left side feels higher than the right, just push it down a little. Okay, we want these hips in alignment before we move. Okay, here our leg 90 degree. Left arm out. And we're gonna just roll over. We're gonna stack our hips and we're gonna stay here. So our chest is gonna stay on the ground, okay? So if your chest comes off of the ground like mine does, okay, not everyone can have their chest on the ground. So just stay there. And you might need some more support. So you'll see here that I need more support. So let's grab that bigger pillow. I need more support here. So yeah, there we go. So this is step one. You can stay here, arms out long or pull them in and breathe. Let's do three more breaths. All right, so let's come out of that pose. So we're just gonna twist it back and then bend your knees if you want and then get back straight. So get back in alignment because you probably shifted and do that same thing again that we did earlier. We're just gonna stretch really long, tips everything up and then exhale it out or even saw it out and let it go. All right, and just transfer your things to the other side. And you might notice that you might can go farther on one side or the other. So there's always a good side and a bad side or not really good or bad or just, you know, more flexible side, <laughs> stronger side. All right, so here we are, we're gonna set up. <clears throat> we're gonna take that right leg up now and hug it in and you can rock it side to side. Just move in that hip around. You can even do a circle here if you want. All right, and now we're going to take it back to 90 degree. And again, that cue for the hips. So a lot of times when we bring that hip up, it comes up. So we'll like push it down. So here we are. We're going to just drop it down a little bit and make sure they're level. Okay, now we're going to go over. So here we are. Uh, and again, this hand can stay here. Both hands can stay here, or they can go out. If you're feeling, not feeling soreness up here today, you can try to just do one arm out and relax, or both. Just let those arms be heavy and breathe. And make sure they're externally rotated here.
and let's try to relax our face and breathe. If you're uncomfortable with your eyes closed, just soften your gaze on whatever you see here. Just soften your gaze. Just eyelids are soft. You, you're, you can still see that everything's a little blurry. Breathe. And so I'm taking this hand here and I'm going to try to push down on this knee just a little bit just to keep it steady. If you have another blanket or even an ankle weight would work to put a little weight on there. It feels nice. Let's breathe. Try to, try to relax your forehead space. I'm so sorry about these eyes. Try to separate your teeth. And remember to breathe. We'll do three more breaths. All right, let's just untwist that. We'll plant that foot on the ground. We'll bring this knee in. We can hug the knees in again and just give a gentle rock side to side. Open, close your toes if you want. Circle your ankles. Breathe. All right, our next pose is still going to be lying down. But we're gonna do a butterfly pose here with our, our legs. So what that looks like. So I might need an extra blanket for this, but I'm gonna put this pillow here, stack this pillow here, and I'm just gonna let my legs fall out. Yes, we're just opening our hips here, and we're just gonna try to touch our feet together. So knees are together and then we're just going to open up the hips and let them relax and fall down naturally. So again, if you need more support, just go get your other pillows or a blanket. <sighs> okay, this is our next pose. And then your feet might like gradually start to scoot down and that's okay. There's no rules here. Okay, so don't think, oh, I'm not doing it right. Yes, you are. There are no rules. We're just gonna relax, okay? Let's get comfortable. Get your arms where you want them to be, on your belly. Or you could get them out like so. Just breathe. Again, trying to Turn on all those cues that we know, just relaxing the body, relaxing the face, separating the teeth. Eyelids are heavy, cheeks are heavy, forehead relaxed, arms are relaxed, fingertips, and breathe. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, three more breaths. All right, we're gonna gently come out of that. So just wiggle your fingers and then bring your knees back here. Yeah, look at the charm here. Okay, the next pose we're going to do is like a back bend. So what we're going to do here is, is push the pillows under our sacrum. Right here. So for me, I'm going to roll over to the right, push myself up. And I'm going to put this pillow here under my bottom. And you can get higher and higher if you want. So just figure out what works for your spine. You might want to go really high. So it's, it, it's really nice to have that curve, just curve our spine in the opposite way that it normally curves. So you can play around with this. But I think I'm going to put this one under there. And then I think I'm going to get this one and put it under there once I'm down. So one pillow is enough. Even this big bureau pillow is enough. And you would bend your knees here. So here are the options. Bend your knees and stay here. Or you can knock your knees in. So scoot your feet out a little bit and just knock your knees in and then relax. But for me, I think I'm gonna go a little higher with this pillow. So I'm just gonna and there's no graceful way to do this. <laughs> but you're just gonna push it under there. Oh, there we go. That's good enough for me. There we go. See, I got a little higher there. And you can stay here, or if it doesn't put too much strain on your lower back, you can, you can put your legs straight. You can even take your other pillow and try to throw it down there under your knees or your feet. So again, options to stay here. To stay here with your arms. Or you can straighten your legs. So just play around with it, whatever feels comfortable. And when you straighten your legs, your legs are just going to kind of fall out to the side. You're not going to keep them active and keep them straight. You're just going to let them relax and sort of open up a little here in the hips. Find your breath. Try to relax.
Two more breaths. We're going to gently come out of this pose. We're just going to bend those knees if they were straight. If they weren't, we're just going to get them back in alignment with the hips. And then rolling over to, to, to the side is good. <laughs> just be careful if you got really high. Get your blankets and pillows away. And our next pose, our last pose, is Shavasana. So we're just going to relax here. So what every position that you think is comfortable for your body. Um, I'll give you a few options here. So we're just going to lie down. Option one is to put all the bolsters and blankets under your, your knees here. <sighs> like that. And again, just kind of let your hips open a little bit and your legs fall out. This is really nice. Let's take your or if you're comfortable just lying down on your mat, okay? And if that doesn't hurt your, your lower back, just lying down on the mat like this. And breathe. It's also nice to cover up with a blanket if you want to get cozy. But just find what works for you and your body. No rules. Breathe. Close your eyes. Relax your face. Separate your teeth. Cheeks are heavy. Eyelids are heavy. Fingertips are relaxed. Try to be here now and breathe. We'll do three more breaths. All right, when you're ready, we're going to wiggle our toes, wiggle our fingers, and just gently wake the body up. And breathe. And when you're ready, we're going to just roll over to the right and stay there for a minute to push all those pillows out of the way if you had pillows. Roll over to the right, give yourself a hug. Thank yourself for doing this practice. Your body thanks you, your mind. 
the nervous system. And push up. Pushing up. And just sit however you feel comfortable. And we will just end together with a big breath. So let's go. Inhale, arms up. Palm together if you can. Exhale it down. Namaste. Happy birthday. I will see you next month. Bye.